I've had some people ask me questions about my harness, what's the make is, where I got it, such like that. So I figured I'd do a little video just to cover the basics. Uh, it's a Ray Allen Signature K9 LLC harness. LLC stands for Lift, Load, and Carry. Um, it's made specifically for working dogs. I think it's more geared towards police canine or military canine, but for my service dog, I think it works rather well for it. I have no complaints with it. For the most part, I do have some minor ones, which I'll cover. Uh, it's made out of a breathable mesh. The basis of it is the mesh and then is built off of that. It's got two straps that go the full length around the dog. And it's got one chest strap that also goes the full length around the dog. It's got two handles. I wrap mine in green paracord because it makes it easier to grab. If my dog happens to respond to something he's not supposed to, if he's off lead, I can usually quick enough where I can grab him. Or if there's a situation where I need to pick him up, I have done it where I've just grabbed both handles and lifted him straight up and over or on or in or whatever the situation is. Uh, from this section to six, this section here, the full section is the hoop section of Velcro or the female section of the Velcro. Uh, it's really soft to the touch. It is kind of firm and rigid, but it's down the spine of the dog. I really don't have a problem with it. I've never had problems with it. Um, I've got these Do Not Pet Service Dog Velcro patches off of eBay. Uh, they weren't that expensive. I think they were right around five bucks. And then this is a mil spec monkey pirate monkey crossbones satire morale patch that i picked up i tell some people it's confirmed kills but not a lot of people find humor in that i do that's why i leave it on there i got these are 40 mil 40 millimeter grenade launcher grenade pouches i use them just for utility purposes like in this one i have the mess bags uh, they fit really well in there so I always have him on him. I don't have to worry about sticking him in my pocket and forgetting him. They're always on him. If he has his harness, he's got the stuff to clean up his mess. This side, I don't have a whole lot of anything. Usually I keep treats for when we're training. Um, but that's usually what that primarily pat pouch is for. Uh, I've got the extended buckles. Because he's a large 86-pound dog with a large chest. I got the extended buckles that go on there. They're the plastic buckles which I don't like. I would, I'm would. i eventually going to switch over to the metal Cobra buckles. I think they're going to be a lot more reliable and a lot nicer at some point whenever I figure out when I'm going to do that. This strap here goes around the chests and then goes into this buckle. And then these go around, this one goes around the chest and this one goes around his rear haunch. And then they just go right underneath and buckle. And with his size, they buckle pretty much right underneath them to just right off to the left hand side. Uh, there's a metal D ring or triangle ring however you want to call it that I use when I'm doing just in a hallway and there's nobody else in there say at work I have to go get a, a bottle of water from the, the water spigot or something instead of putting his prong collar on and walking him around with that I just hook him up to that. He responds fairly well to it because I mean I stop him because the harness attaches to him and it's a lift, load, and carry vest. So I can pick him up and move him around fairly easy. Well, with that being said, uh, the major complaints that I have is the plastic buckles. I got this one off of Amazon. I don't know if I said that already. Um, with that being said, I think it's just an older model. Uh, the newer ones I know come with the metal buckles, the Cobra buckles. I got it largely reduced priced at Amazon. That's why I got it to try it out. I really, really like it. It's definitely worth the money. It's definitely worth the effort in looking for it. They do make a couple of different models. I like this one because I have a larger dog. Uh, the full both sides are Molly, right there and right there. And that's where the Molly pouches are. I like the universal nature of it. And then it's got these three hoops on each side that are called the G hook hoops. And they have different accessories on the Ray Allen website themselves under tactical dog harnesses or dog harnesses. And you have panels where you can put a large section of molly that wraps further underneath the dog's brisket and his sides. And then they have a service, I believe, that's blaze orange that you can put on the side. And then they have a pouch that you can put on either side. 
and they just hook in here with the G hoop and then I think they buckle underneath the dog which makes it really modular in nature which I like because not everything is the same when going to the store or going to work as opposed to going into the woods going camping I like him to carry his own treats and the water gets a little heavy for him but I also make him carry some other small supplies mainly just because it helps because he's got a little bit more resistance um, other than that they're fully adjustable strap here again is the plastic buckle I have really that's the only complaint I have is that the plastic buckles other than that is held up great he's gone through briar bush which if you don't know what that is it's pretty nasty scratchy stuff it sticks to everything it's a pain in the butt uh, he lays on concrete at work sometimes or a really rough industrial carpet I haven't seen much fraying from that um, yeah and I pick him up like I say he's 86 pounds and I can pick him up and throw him over my shoulder with it I wouldn't suggest doing that but it does the trick uh, if you have any other questions just uh, post it in the comments or you can find me on Facebook